by five. Good evening, everyone. This is Russell, a.k.a. The Tuba Geek. Uh, decided I'd give another um, DP Yoga Chronicle, excuse me, um, following my birthday, which was yesterday. Um, happy birthday to me, uh, the big 3-6. Um, I weighed myself yesterday and was pretty bummed by the number I saw. Um, weighed in at 315.5. Still less than what I weighed at uh, day 90. Um, so I'm pretty happy. So I was happy about that, but I hadn't met my goal. But again, as I said in my day 90 video, I have no one to blame but myself. I've been, uh, I've really not worked out much this month. Um, my eating's been better, or at least somewhat better, um, but I'm still working on that. Um, spoke with one of my fellow team members, um, a man by the name of Dave Orth, uh, and again, thank you, Dave, for um, a very wonderful and enlightening conversation that went well for an hour um, last night. It really helped put some perspective on things. Um, I've made a decision that I'm going to switch things up again. Um, I'm not going to EP yoga, so that's out of the question. Um, but I'm essentially going to hit the reset button on this. I'm going to start over on June 1st. Uh, I'm going to start over doing the um, basic program work, basic program setup. Um, probably going to even go to the point of saying I'm going to follow I will probably do um, since I've been doing it for a while I'm probably going to do the um, intermediate tweaked up I was looking at doing it doing things in stages where I'm going to do nothing but energy and fat burner through the first seven days of the month um, the next seven days doing uh, throwing in or starting on doing um, stand up and strength builder, um, probably throw below, uh, below the belt and diamond cutter in a little further along, and by the end of the month, actually doing double black diamond. So, yeah, I'm slamming a lot of workouts in, um, but I'm in a position here where I've been doing it for a while, so I'm comfortable enough with fast tracking it a little bit. But at the same time, I really want to concentrate on mastering my positions, really engaging, getting my heart rate up, and maintaining my position, uh, maintaining my heart rate to where I'm in the fat burning zone through the entire workout. Um, I've been running into problems where I wouldn't get into my target zone until um, about 10, about you know, five ten minutes into the workout, and when you're only doing a 25 to 30 minute workout, that means you're only in your optimal fat burning zone for about 15, 20, 25 minutes, just depending on how the workout is structured, and that doesn't really work all that well, especially if you're wanting to lose a lot of weight. Uh, if you're not engaging, your not, heart rate's not getting up. When your heart rate's not in the fat burning zone, you're not burning fat. Go figure. This is so I can push towards my next big goal. Uh, that is by October the 5th, uh, which is my mother's birthday. I want to lose the next these next 65 pounds and get to where I am at or under 250 pounds. So that's averaging a loss of about 15 pounds a month. I lost 12 and a half, give or take, my first month, so I know it is entirely possible. Really determined to not let this setback for this for this month dictate the rest of my existence 
when I was talking with Dave, I explained to him that my dad was 40 when he had his first heart attack. He died at, just before he turned 50 from complications. He had several heart attacks. Um, he had angioplasty, then bypass, then stents. So it just got progressively worse, and he didn't take the best care of himself. He was an overweight man. Um, he was not insanely active, though he did hunt and fish and do things like that, but he wasn't as active as someone should be. And when my birthday came yesterday, and I realized that I was approaching, I was quickly approaching my 40th birthday, you know, I'm only a few years out, few years out from that. It hit me kind of hard. I lost my dad while I was in college. I lost him when I was in a very formidable position in my life, where having a father figure would have been incredible. So I've had to deal with a lot of different things that because I didn't have a father figure in my life when I really could have used them. And I don't want that to be the position my kids are in. Like I said, I think that just really kind of pulled me down uh, yesterday and looking at the scale and looking at my weight and realizing that I didn't meet my goal that I had set for myself for my birthday made me feel like I was a failure. So this just shows you that even when you're trying to live your life at 90% the 10% is going to come in and it's going to bring you down once in a while. You just gotta remember that when you get knocked down, get back up, dust yourself off, and keep keep pushing yourself, keep moving forward. I remember hearing that Thomas Edison had multiple failures before he actually invented the light bulb. So, imagine if he had quit. Let's just say we probably wouldn't be seeing any of this right now. Or at least not in the quality that you're able to see it. Or even in the manner that you're able to see it. Give the uh, camera change. I felt better being able to look at my screen while I'm reading what I'm about to read to you. This is a blog post from a lady on Team DDP Yoga named Kyla. And like me, she is fairly overweight. And like me, she's been through several different things. I've done the gamut. I've done Weight Watchers. I've done kind of a variant on Atkins. I've done um, weight lifting. I've done the whole body by Jake, the, any of his workout equipment. I've done the um, the Body for Life program, or at least tried to. Um, I've run, I've done running. I did it twice actually. I did it once when I was in middle school, and I did it once. The last time I've done any significant running was about four or five years ago. And I've had people who have said to me all the time, you know, try this, do that. This is what worked for me. And this post very succinctly and eloquently states how I feel about some of this stuff. Be forewarned, there is some language. Um, I cannot guarantee that I'm going to have edited out or bleeped out the language um, in the process of posting this video. So. Those of you who are young and maybe potentially offended, I'm sorry. Again, the towel is YDDP 
yoga works a beginner's perspective. I've done this before, you know. You don't get to be my size without having embarked on any number of exercise programs, diets, or famously euphemistic lifestyle changes. But you know how it is. You're five minutes into boot camp, teary, pool of vomit at your feet, while the spandex clad instructor is chirping, now that we're warmed up, let's step it up a little. <laughs> really, it reduces me to sniveling just thinking about it. My lovely friends who are struggling over 20 pounds offer suggestions. The cabbage soup diet worked great for me, they say. Have you tried the cayenne pepper cleanse? I stare at them for a moment before my eyes roll so far back in my head, I see my frontal lobe. People, I weigh 323 pounds. That's going to be one hell of a lot of cayenne pepper. You know what I'm saying? When you're my size, you know about nutrition. You've been riding this train a long time, and you know you need to eat less and exercise more. You know that you need to put healthy things into your body, and you know what those healthy things are. You get a friend to go walk with you, but you've gone less than 200 meters before they're energetically dancing circles around you, encouraging you to walk just a little faster. Seriously, shut the fuck up, people. Fuck up, people. And... I mean that with love, but it's not your heart that's banging your chest so hard it's starting to seem like you might actually be possessed by an alien toting a jackhammer. I mean, really, these are not good times. And while I appreciate the fact that you weigh 130 pounds, down from 145, you tell me happily, the truth is, I can't keep up with you. It's not that I don't want to, it's that I actually can't. And no amount of your enthusiastic bleach teeth, just 20 more, is going to make me be able to keep up with you. Or even want to keep up with you. I just want to clean up my vomit and take a shower. That's all I want to do. And possibly take a nap on the bath mat on my way there. That's it, people. That's all I got. But then I fell into DDP yoga the way many of us did. You see Arthur fall flat on his face a few times and think, Holy shit, I can do that. I can fall on my face. I can fall on my face. I can totally do that. And you check out the program, and it turns out the program can be done by the energetic spandex clad people with bleached teeth and by people like me. People who lumber, say, rather than pirouette gracefully across the floor. I take a break sometimes during the workout. During Broken Table, one of the positions, DDP says, feel that bead of sweat dripping down your nose. <laughs> DDP, honey, that's not sweat. Those are tears, man. <laughs> Real tears. And so I get up and take a drink of water. And when I'm just feeling guilty about it, just when I'm thinking, shit, I can't even do this one either. DEP says, go ahead and get a drink of water if you need to. Make the wire G workout your own. Every other fitness instructor, instructor I have ever seen or heard has told me to push it, push it, do more, don't quit, don't be a quitter, don't give up. DEP says, hey, take care of yourself. If you need to rest up, rest up. Keep trying. Use a chair if you need to. You'll get there. You'll get there. Damn right, DDP, I'll get there. Bit by bit. Because in this program, it's okay. It's okay to fall flat on your face. It's okay to get up, shake it off, and come right back to the map. It's okay to be imperfect, out of shape, even weak. In this program, it's okay to be me. And so I keep doing it because I can do it. I can do it and I can do it better and longer each time I try it. No vomit necessary. And that, that's why it works. So thanks for that DDP. Thank you. And I echo that sentiment. Thank you DDP for giving a program to people like me who's tried everything else 
and their body just just vehemently refuses to cooperate. I've said before, I've tried running. But my feet are so flat that I get massive shin splints. My ankles are screaming by the time I do a mile. And my calves and my thighs just hate my guts. And as Kyla so eloquently states, my heart feels like it's being out of my chest. I actually posted a comment on Kyla's blog post and said, and here's what I said, thank you for expressing this so eloquently. I too have done my share of workouts and while they've worked for me somewhat, I always felt like I was getting pushed way beyond my limits. DDP yoga has allowed me to push myself without feeling like I'm going to kill myself. And that is the thing. Now some of you out there may feel like you need to do that. Some of you may want to feel like you need to do like, um, like Warrior does and, and, and pump like massive numbers of iron and if you if you haven't given up a gallon of fluid and sweat and and tears and blood in the process that you haven't done anything effective I can tell you right now that if I'm engaged right and if I'm in a room that's warm enough <laughs> I give up a gallon easily But here's the kicker. I come out of it, I don't feel killed. I don't feel like I could just collapse any moment. I can do an hour long session. I can do diamond cutter, come out of it. And 30 minutes later, I'm ready to go at it again. It works for me. If that doesn't work for you, hey, I'm not going to knock you for it. But I finally found something that works for me. I found something that makes me feel like I'm working my butt off. Like you should when you're doing a workout. But I don't feel like that when I'm done, I might as well not even work out the next day. Because I hurt so much. As I said, I'm doing a reset, and I'm going to get back on the game, and I'm going to knock this out of the park. My 120 day comes up around my anniversary, so we're going to put that under two, uh, under 300 pound goal. Um, we're going to set to my anniversary, June the 10th. My wife and I have been married 12 years, and I can think of no better anniversary present than to show my wife the number on the scale that I've gotten under 300 pounds. Um, I hope those of you who have recently joined Team DEP Yoga are getting the information and inspiration you need to push forward. Um, to those of you who have sent me merit messages of encouragement and messages saying that I am an inspiration to you, again, I am deeply hum humbled and extremely appreciative for those messages. Um, don't think they are going unnoticed. Um. I invite those of you who are not participating in Team DEP Yoga, either because they've fallen out of fallen out of doing it or just haven't got the program yet, I invite you to join in and see what it has to offer you. Or come back and be embraced by your friends because we miss you. And there's a few of you that know that I'm talking directly to you. I won't name names. Those of you who haven't bought the program, what are you waiting for? Trust me, 
it will change your life. And if you think you can't do it, I thought I couldn't. And I'm actually doing pretty good for myself. So until the next time I see you, remember to own your life and feel the bank.